，养鱼水要清，种稻米要更香。这一切都要虫子来帮忙。Tianjin has a population of approximately 15 million. This million chicken layer farm located in the suburbs of Tianjin produced 50 tons of eggs per day during its peak egg production period. From here, eggs continue to flow onto the market and serve on the people's table. Almost 10% of the eggs in the Tianjin supermarkets come here. This farm is facing tremendous environmental pressure. There are 125,000 laying hens in one production line of the Million Layers Farm. They eat and lay eggs every day, but of course they also produce feces. Although one chicken does not excrete much, one million chickens produce nearly 100 tons of chicken feces in one day. It needs to be transported by truck several times. If these feces are not treated in time and properly, it is a huge danger to the surrounding environment. This area is a very environmentally sensitive area, and it is also a relatively fragile area. The strange thing is that when the reporter came here, he was curious not only that there was no smell of stool but also no chicken stool. Where is the chicken excrement? There is a recreational agricultural sightseeing area less than 20 kilometers away from the chicken farm. There are tens of millions of tropical ornamental fishes here. The workers are busy taking care of the fish they have kept for nearly three months. These fishes are very precious. However, due to the large input of pellet feed, tropical ornamental fish breeding ponds are also facing the pressure of water pollution. Water pollution mainly comes from feed. Through continuous research, they found a kind of fleshy bugs to solve the problem of water pollution. These little bugs will not die immediately when they are put into the water. Can survive in the water for 7 to 8 days. Fish can eat them slowly. Bugs are alive and naturally do not pollute the water environment. These meaty little bugs not only solve the water pollution of the fish farm, but also relate to the chicken stool treatment of the chicken farm. What kind of worm is this, and where did it come? There are more than 10 small boxes in the cabinet. What will be in this little box? All the secrets are in this box, and the wealth is also in the box. The real content is below. These are called black soldier fly. To be precise, this is the larva of black soldier fly. Their main job here is to eat chicken manure and grow as big as possible. The entire food source of our black soldier fly larva is from the chicken manure, of which are transported from the million layer farm to our production plant through this conveyor belt. It turns out that the larva of black soldier fly consume chicken manure from the clean farm on the opposite side. Chicken manure has become the main feeder for the larva of black soldier fly. 
We have done a lot of research in the past on pig manure, cow manure, and chicken manure, and carried out comparative tests. Comparatively speaking, the effect of chicken manure is the best. Now this production line can process 20 tons of chicken manure a day. As for now, the second, third and fourth lines are fully ready. They will process 100 tons of chicken manure every day. Chicken manure has new usage for layer farms. Black soldier fly converts chicken manure into protein and fat. It is precisely because of the breakthrough in black soldier fly breeding technology that has achieved a factory production scale to consumes a large amount of chicken manure. The environment for breeding millions of layers is guaranteed. For us to invest in enterprise projects, the environment must first pass, and then on this basis, we will study how to link up the industrial chain in an orderly manner to do this circular agriculture. Black soldier fly is a veritable biotransformer. Not only the chicken manure can be reused, but the rice offal and rice bran from the rice processing plant are also used as supplementary materials for the production of black soldier fly. Here from the mixing to the filling, and finally the decomposition, the entire production line has basically achieved automation. This is our biggest core, which is called the distribution of larva. The larva will enter the breeding tank after automatically additives being added, and the temperature, humidity and deodorization inside the breeding tank are automatically controlled. The air is strictly filtered before it can be discharged outside the factory. So you cannot smell anything here. The treatment of chicken manure by black soldier fly is a solution provided by Professor Xu Xiaoyan from Tianjin Agricultural College. In his research, Professor Xu Xiaoyan found that larva of black soldier fly has a large appetite and strong digestion ability. The black waterfly larva have a mixed feeding habit. They not only digest livestock and poultry manure, but also eat domestic garbage. Through small-scale experiments, they felt that the black waterfly larva are a good helper for biological treatment of chicken manure. But traditional breeding methods can hardly deal with the problem of handling millions of layer chicken manure. A large scale of factory farming of black soldier fly is imperative, however, there was no such precedent in China five years ago. From the perspective of equipment, we put lots of effort on research and development. Combined with our actual feeding needs, we have repeatedly explored many times, including cell design and selection of farming and feeder equipment. This is the first production line in the automated feeding plant of black soldier fly. During the entire production process, workers rarely need to improve their work efficiency further. At the same time, in order to raise larva of black soldier fly, they have to make sure the settings of the breeding environment is suitable, and need to try and test repeatedly. According to the habit of larva of black soldier fly, the temperature is controlled at 25 to 30 degrees Celsius and the humidity is about 70%. Under these conditions, the black waterfly larvae are the most active, eat happily and grow fast. They found that the hatched black soldier fly larvae are the most edible from day 4 to day 8. Eight days later, the larvae's food intake decreases and they gradually enter the pupal stage. Therefore, in the farming plant of black soldier fly larva, the production cycle is usually eight days. Black soldier fly as a converter allows chicken manure to generate two incomes. The Lavers manure organic fertilizer can be sold for 600 yuan a ton. Black soldier fly larva can be sold for 4,000 yuan a ton in the market.
您看，这不正好这个运输的车刚刚过来吗？这马上就要拉往渔场了。Small bugs stimulate big industries. About three tons of black waterfly larvae are produced every day. Where did so many larvae in this feeding house come from? We have to go to a hidden place. This is a breeding house of black soldier fly, covering an area of 270 square meters. They mate and lay eggs here, which is their spawning room. After entering the three doors, the reporter followed Professor Xu Xiaoyan into the delivery room of Black Soldier Fly. If you look closely, the black soldier fly looks a bit similar to a fly. But their habits are completely different from those of common flies. Unlike flies, they are relatively quiet. They are not harmful to people, and they are not pests. Adult black soldier fly likes green. In the past, people breeding black soldier flies needed to place them on green plants. At first, they also placed many green plants nearby. But it didn't take long for these green plants to die. This requires frequent replacement of green plants, which not only troubles them but also increases the cost of the breeding process. Later, they found that the reason why black soldier flies like green plants is because of their mating needs. The main function of this is to let them land on when they mate. When black soldier flies are mating, they like to mate in a flat place. During mating and laying eggs, the adults of black soldier fly basically do not eat anything. But they cannot do without water. They lie on the green plants to suck the plant fluid. Green plants often die afterwards. After trial and error methods, the team found a particularly cheap and durable material to replace the green plants. Replace the real with the fake. Plastic leaves are fake, of course. The adults of the black soldier flies mate smoothly on the plastic leaves. However, in order to fool them, frequent hydration is required during mating period. Once you spray some water on it, you can see they will suck up the water from it. One spray can last for a certain period of time. These black soldier fly adults have only one mission, which is to mate and lay more eggs that will complete the task of inheriting the family. Each can lay about 1,000 grams of eggs. They have strong reproductive ability, but they are very picky about where they lay their eggs. They like to lay eggs in some crevices. People tied up the wooden board so that the black water flies lay their eggs in the cracks of the boards. They died in about a week after mating. The adult black soldier fly completed its mission. The eggs then were scraped off and hatched. After four days, they will continue to enter the black soldier fly larva production plant to consume more chicken manure.
The grown larvae become delicacy feeders for tropical fish. About six days for these fishies. How long to feed them based on the size of the fish? It really depends how big of these fishes. Shang Dongmai's tropical fish farm grows tens of millions of fish every year, and needs a lot of feed. The biggest cost is in the feed, which is the finished pellet feed. The asking base price of such feed is more than 10,000 yuan a ton. After using the black soldier fly larva as a live feed, not only the cost is saved by more than 20%, but the worm is more appetizing for fish. During the caching process, the upper middle and lower level fish can be separated for eating. It is more convenient or natural for fish to eat worms. These small worms can replace 40% of pellet feed. Not only reduces the cost of feeding, but also the fish grow stronger and healthier after eating these live worms. Worms are high in protein and fat. So the fishies grow round and fat, and their color is gorgeous. There are hundreds of tropical ornamental fish species here. The use of black soldier fly larva saves feed costs while improving the water environment. This is everyone's favorite tropical ornamental fish, called blood parrot. Now their body color is yellow and also their natural color. This batch of blood parrots are ready to go on the market, they have been changed into new clothes, all in bright red. These blood parrots will be sent to all parts of the country after thorough a strict decomposition by workers. Through the factory farming of black soldier fly, the larvae have become a delicacy for tropical fish. The manure of worms is made into full organic fertilizer and it is applied in vegetable cultivation and rice fields. The reporter found many fish larvae in the ditch next to the rice field. They thought these fries were placed by someone. Manager Yan said they were all wild. In the past, this ditch was all polluted, which was impossible to see fishes. Reduce the use of chemical fertilizers, and you will see a lot of fish as the water quality improves. A few years ago, there were not so many wild fish in this ditch. Now there is very little chemical fertilizer in the rice fields here. Heavy manure organic fertilizer played a major role in rice fields. This type of fertilizer is very special, its organic matter content can reach more than 65%. The organic matter content of this reproduced manure is twice that of ordinary chicken manure organic fertilizer. In addition, there are abundant phosphorus and potassium. There is also no smell. This type of reproduced manure organic fertilizer requires only 500 kilograms per acre of rice fields. 
It will not only improve the quality of the soil, but also improve the quality of rice. The environment is more friendly. Only high-quality rice will sell at a good price. The rice fields here are increasingly using reproduced manure organic fertilizer. The demonstration area is 4,000 acre in total. Biotransformation not only solves the way out of chicken manure, but also adds new wealth. The planting and fish forming environment has been improved, which also created conditions for expanding the scale of planting and fish forming. We will start the second million chicken layer factory next year. In this way, many of our facilities can be shared. The scale of production is expanded, and the production cost is further reduced. In the process of developing urban agriculture in Tianjin, biotechnology was introduced into circular agriculture, allowing agricultural waste to be digested on the spot and generating economic and ecological benefits. It ensures that the food processing for urban residents is environmentally friendly.